Welcome to day 314 of our DSO journey. I'm Ed Krasenstein here with my twin brother, Brian, and we have a very special guest today. You know him as Tiny Elf on DSO. He works for Bad Santa, and they're putting together this DSO's Got Talent project that's running right now. How's it going, Tiny? I'm doing great. We're so glad to have you here, Tiny. What, where's Bad Santa? Okay. Ah, bad Santa couldn't make it today, but we're happy to have you. And we'll talk about a little bit of the news right now, and then we'll get to what you guys are doing with DSO's Got Talent in a little bit. Yeah, and, and this is our first illustrated guest ever, and his voice is really crappy, so you can't always hear him, but we welcome Tiny to, to, the, uh, to the show. Yes, for sure. So yesterday, Salil Sethi made a post about statistics in regards to NFTs buy now feature. And as of yesterday, which was one week since the official launch of buy now and DSO NFTs, there's been 454 NFTs sold using buy now. 286.7 DSO has traded hands using buy now. So 286.7 DSO worth of NFTs have been sold using this feature, which equates to about $14,622 or so at the current DSO prices. And the most expensive NFT sold using buy now was sold to Natter for 55.82 DSO. Yeah, I mean, it's not a huge number. Uh, of course, we'd hope that'll be higher than that, but it is a first week. Uh, I think that nodes still need to integrate buy now. I think that people have to get used to using buy now. And I, and I think that that we just we kind of see this low in the NFT market right now, both on Ethereum, Solana, and on DSO, but particularly in DSO, I think. Yeah, and I mean we'll see a pickup, I think, sometime soon, hopefully. Uh, yesterday, 100 made a post on DSO saying that we really need a better we really need better explanations and tutorials surrounding onboarding of users onto DSO, and the new. DSO employee Ty Fisher actually replied and he said he's will, he, he will be pushing out stuff over the next couple of weeks in regards to the tutorials and explanations. So I think that's great news that we're going to see a better system for onboarding, maybe some stuff that makes more sense and makes things more clear for users, maybe a little more simplistic, I hope. Uh, but Alex Velates is also on Discord answering a question from Ready Player One said that Ty Fisher is also working on documents and support for smart services. What do you make of that, Brian? Yeah, so I, I mean, we've all been waiting for smart services. I think that DSO DAO coins are also waiting for smart services because you can't really have much functionality with DSO DAOs unless you do have smart services out there. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what they're gonna provide document wise. Uh, I'd also love to see if the core team has any services they're gonna roll out anytime soon that could kind of give people some ideas of how these things work. Uh, smart services are important. Uh, like I said, without smart services, DAOs are kind of useless, I think. So yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, and, and Alex also made a post on LinkedIn yesterday. Yeah, so yeah, Alex made a post to his 41,000 followers on LinkedIn wow. yesterday. And uh, it, it was interesting. Like I, like I learned some things about Alex myself, but basically this was a recruiting kind of post. Like he was trying to get people to know about DSO. Maybe if you want to apply for a job, you could apply for a job. Or if you want to build on DSO, you could build on DSO. Or if you just want to become a member, you could come to DSO. Or if you want to do fund a project that you want to build on DSO, you could come. And he set all this out in this long, rather long, lengthy post. Um, but, but one line from Alex that really stood out to me was that he said this, quote unquote, this is the most motivated and fulfilled I have ever felt in my career, end quote. And he worked at LinkedIn. He was pretty high up at LinkedIn. He actually launched a DeFi protocol on Ethereum, uh, and it, it grew to a market cap of, of over eight figures. So wow. I don't know what over eight figures would be, but it would definitely be over $10 million. Uh, so I found that out about, out about Alex. I didn't know. I didn't know he launched a DeFi protocol on Ethereum. Uh, and I'm just optimistic because he's so optimistic. He's a really bright guy. 
And the post was great. It got a lot of interaction and hopefully it turned some people onto DSA. Yeah, definitely. Uh, GDS and GD Virtual Galleries, they showed a sneak peek of their upcoming virtual gallery that Gabrielle is working on with Clout Women Unite. It's, uh, it's, it's really interesting. It's, they're taking different women's art and creations and putting them into a special gallery. Uh, the Clout Women Unite Gallery uh, includes a 3D sculpture by Oh La La, NFTs by a plethora of women on uh, DSO, including Natalie Art, Clara Mouse, Twins Division, Nona Rivers, Boops Boutique, Anas Anastasia Koroshenko, All Things Digital, and several others, I believe. So it, it's a great initiative. I love what they're doing. Clout Women Unites, so really a true DSO OG. She's Diane. She's been here since the start doing great thing for women on DSO. Uh, you know, GDS is awesome. He's creating all these galleries. He's also working on a, another gallery he, that he says is a secret. It's a secret space room for the first 3D NFT gallery that's gonna go to space, part of Chase Steely's uh, NFTs to space, space initiative. So Gabriel is doing awesome things, creating all these virtual galleries. Uh, he's created one for NFTZ that we're excited to show it sometime soon. Um, you know, I just can't say enough about what he's doing. Wouldn't that be cool if his secret space gallery was actually inside of a space shuttle? <laughs> no, but I, I just want to say that uh, like what he's doing with Cloud Women Unite, I, I love that. I think it's important that we amplify women on the DSO protocol because I think crypto in general kind of strays from what women are usually like, like there's not a ton of women within crypto. And, and I think that if you're building a social protocol, you need women on the protocol to attract other people. So I love, I love that we're enhancing them. I know from the start, we've been trying to get people to buy the coin of women because they were undervalued compared to their, the men that were on the, on the protocol. So great job, great job for Clout, Clout Women Unite. She's doing an amazing job at, at amplifying women. And GDS, of course, is amazing. Yeah, so there's several community events, actually an action-packed day today. At 11 a.m. Eastern time, we're holding an NFTZ room with Michelle Lord hosting it. Uh, it's a Twitter Spaces, Twitter Spaces room. Uh, it's showing off some art, some DSO NFTs. It's going to be great to kind of expose some non-DSO artists and collectors to the DSO NFT space. Uh, Illuminati, Oh La La, and David J. Ryder are the featured artists this week. Uh, we'll also have some other people that come up on stage and talk about their art if we get time. Remember, these Twitter spaces, you're only that to have a certain amount of people on stage at once. I think it's 12. So we might be sending some people down and bringing others up. Don't, don't feel bad if we get sent down. It's just because we need to fit more people on stage. But it's, it's going to be a fun room. Uh, Saving the Survivors and Clout Women Unite should be there as well. Uh, I, I just think it's important to expose Twitter and Ethereum and Solana artists and collectors to DSO NFTs. I think this Twitter space is going to be, it's our first, it's our first, you know, official NFTZ room that's going to be held on Twitter spaces. So we're excited about it. We're, we plan on doing these weekly. We'll see how it goes, but definitely check it out. Please come support us and su support the DSO NFT community at 11 a.m. Eastern time at Twitter spaces. You can get the link below in this uh, below this video in the post. And also if you go to NFTZ's DSO account. At 12 p.m. Eastern time on Clubhouse, directly following the Twitter spaces is going to be the DSO Saving the Survivors charity raffle auction. Uh, Miss Katie Ann, Wildography, Michelle Lord, French Connector and others can be on hand to hold this raffle. There've been a few raffles on Clubhouse which have been really, really fun. So definitely check this out. I think you spend a little bit of money you get it in the raffle and then you have a chance to win some NFT, some DSO NFTs. Then at 8 p.m. Eastern time on Entra, join Entra.com, there's going to be NFTs to International Space Station room. And this is a video, video room where certain people go on stage and talk. Chase Steely, Matreshka, Paul MP, Michelle Lord, GDS, and others are going to be there. Brian and I will try and make it. It's around our kids' bedtime, so we might be a little late. Uh, but that should be fun, 8 p.m. Eastern time on Entra. And at 9 p.m. Eastern time, nachoaveragecall.com has nachos and beer happy hour with beer buds, Brian Drever, Nacho Average, Clay Perry Music, and Wendy Lee, and pl plenty of others. You know, I, 
I suspect DOZ is going to pop in. I suspect maybe Doodles. We'll probably see a lot of people pop in there. So definitely. A yeah, I, I might try and make that one at least uh, the the 8 p.m. one as long as my kid can go sleep by then. But yeah, like it's going to be an exciting day for sure. And and I love these community events. Uh, there's something for everybody, I think. So great. Yeah. So let's get to Tiny Elf. So currently you're probably familiar with Bad Santa. It's a huge NFT project on DSO and Tiny Elf works for Bad Santa. And we have the pleasure of having him on our show today. Um, they're running a DSO's Got Talent competition and they're giving away $1,000, I believe. Is that right, Tiny? $1,000? Oh, I think I was wrong. Can you say that again? Three thousand dollars. Oh, okay. I had a hard time <laughs> understanding. I think he's calling. Are you calling from the North Pole? Tiny. Yeah. So Disa's got. It, 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 wait. It sounds like Tiny's actually inside of a pole. It's echoing so much. But, but tiny is tiny. I think it's like, I think it's like, what is it, like 2 a.m. where you are, tiny? So I understand that you're a little bit uh, cold, a little bit tired. Uh, maybe you woke up in the pole and, and you can't find your way out, but I appreciate you being here. Yeah. So the top prize is $500. The top winner is $500. But, but the top five who make it to the final round will win $100. So it's, 500 there plus another 500 for the winner. So that's thousand dollars total. And the, we're, we're doing it by week in the first round is DSO hero. So you can basically create anything using your talent, whether it be art, poetry, a song, anything you can think of in regards to DSO heroes and DSO heroes is a subject. So you have to come up with a unique idea centered around DSO heroes, whatever you think that term DSO heroes may mean to you. And there's judges, Brian and I are two of the judges, and we'll be voting each round along with, I believe it's Doodles, Chase Steely, Matreshka. And I think, I think those are the, all the judges. Tiny, so, are you a judge? Uh, You're not, okay. And he's not a judge. Well, that's unfortunate. So like Tiny, is Santa like keeping you locked up in the chest or something? Because you sound very echoey. Tiny, are you with us? Oh gosh, I hope he's okay. Did Santa step on you? Okay, you're okay. Yes, so so Diso, Diso Heroes is the topic this week. There's gonna be multiple topics. Definitely go to the Bad Santa, the Bad Santa Diso page, just Bad Santa on Diso. And you can check it out, view, the, view how you can participate, all the great details. Uh, Diso's Got Talent also has, a, has an account on uh, Diso. So you can check them out to get even more details. And there's been so many great, great submissions so far. I know Goldberry has submitted a song written about Diso heroes. And there's just been artwork. There's been, <laughs> I've, I see there's been a, uh, a really cool piece of art. It's a rocket ship with multiple avatars in it. So definitely think of what DSO heroes mean to you and participate in this. And you can win up to $600. So I think it's worth it. What do you guys think? Well, yeah, I, I think that what you need to know is that it doesn't have to be art. It doesn't have to be something you draw. It can be music like, like Goldberry submitted. It can be a poem or it could be a story. It could, could be, be a any, meme. anything, anything a meme. creative, just be creative. Yeah. So, so tiny, do you have anything to add? Okay. And I really didn't get that, but tiny, you really <laughs> got to work on your speaking skills. You're, you're, I think hanging out with all of the other elves up there in the North pole, I think it's really affecting you. And I think you need to maybe see a speech therapist or somebody who can get you to maybe pronunciate some of those words a little more clear. I know Santa keeps you locked up in boxes and he's not a very good guy, but 
He he's does do good. some good Don't things. Say that. He does some good things because he's giving this money away to people when DC has got talent. Yeah, and and I can understand. I mean, around Christmas time, you're around human beings more, and I'm guessing you pick up pick up the language cues a little bit better. But I mean, it's been months since Christmas, and you're I guess confined with the elves, so so maybe your speech digresses a little bit. But I we're really appreciative that you woke up at two a.m. to come on our show. You're the first ever animated character, I guess, drawn character to be here, and. I love your NFTs. You're welcome. You. Oh yeah, NFTs. Yes. I've actually purchased two Bad Santa NFTs, and they're two of my favorites. So you can tell Bad Santa that. I know you probably designed them mostly yourself, and he's taking credit for them. But uh, you know they're great. And again, everybody, you need to check out. That DSO's got talent around one and participate because it's a great, great initiative. You can win a lot of money and have fun with it. Yeah, and it's really going to engage the community. Uh, I'm looking forward to it in all seriousness. I think it's going to be fun for everybody. So just definitely check it out. Lots of lots of cash to be won and fun to be had. Yeah, so any closing thoughts, Tiny? All right, everybody have a great day and we will talk to you tomorrow. Bye, Tiny. Bye-bye. <laughs>